okay so this is the continuation of the previous video where we created this tab also um, we coded to produce uh, the user selected um, column observations in this table and now we will work towards um, displaying the uh, summary of iris data set and also the structure of the iris data set let's go back to our studio okay we are in our studio and now we will create another output and say this time it is str for structure and in this we will have the structure of iris data set we will store the structure whatever comes um, uh, whatever information uh, is the output of str function gets stored in str output variable and for this we will use another render statement the new one which we are introducing as part of this video and it's render print and here are various options we can use and uh, basically the render print um, function renders uh, whatever um, output we get from the uh, you know function or whatever we use inside this and it basically preserves the fixed width formatting of the uh, you know output that comes from the expression which we are going to use here so it's it's pretty different from render text render text is specific to um, a string type um, outputs and in this what we are going to do is we will say since it is structure we will use the str function in r on iris data set and whatever is the out output of str function on iris gets rendered using render print it will preserve the uh, formatting of the output that comes from str iris it will render it and then it will store in str um, output variable now we are going to use this str output variable um, here in in this structure and the way we want to print that we want to use verbatim text output followed by the name of the output variable str now verbatim text output what it does is it um, um, it displays uh, the um, the information in verbatim text format within an application page so let's go ahead and run the app to see how it is and we see in the structure tab we have the structure of iris data set and we can see it says 150 observations on five variables and these are the five variables listed out here this is what basically you would see if you run str function on iris in in our command prompt or console or or our studio right finally we will also work out uh, similarly um, the display for uh, summary and let's go ahead back to the server.r and in this case we'll say output dollar say summary and we will again use render print as we used for str and we will use the summary function to get the summary on iris data set so whatever is the output of summary function on iris gets rendered uh, using render print function render print function will actually preserve the formatting of the um, output of summary iris function and stores in in the output variable and it's also summary let's uh, make the output variable as sum instead of summary to avoid any confusion now we will use the output variable sum in in the ui.r with the tab panel we have the name of the tab and then we will use again once again verbatim text output and we will give the output variable as sum and this will print the um, summary in the summary tab let's run that and so we now have summary 
displayed and you see that the formatting is retained since we used the uh, render print function in the server.r if we don't use that it will be all mixed up and uh, um, it will be pretty different from what you will see in the R console.